and they are the division champions. It's Astros GM Dana Brown joins us. Dana, what a fabulous! I know the playoffs, a little rest, get yourself ready for Saturday. But what an unbelievable! You, you called it. You said we're going to go win, and we're going to go take care of our business there, Arizona. We're going to win the division when we get a little help. Well, you're the division champ, sitting in the two seed. What a monster weekend, and really last two series that was for you guys. And welcome in, and congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Um, you know, one of the things I wanted to say is, you know, we were focused on the division the whole time, and um, you know, we were pretty much locked into that. And you know, I, I spoke with the guys, and you know, every every single game counts. And you you see, baseball is a grind of one sixty two, and it came. You know, it came down to, like, the final game, and it's just unbelievable, uh, you know, how these guys persevered through the season with, um, you know, with all the injuries and things that have happened, and these guys persevered, and uh, we got that division title, and we're fired up for this weekend, and hopefully we could uh, be on the road to repeat the World Series. Hey, Dana, when we break down, you know, there's like, okay, here's why you need home field advantage, blah, 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 the order of like A1 topic, A2, A3. Well, if you could break it down to one, what's more important? Is it the rest that you needed, uh, reset the lineup and get rolling, or is it more important because it's home field, even though you guys have struggled at home this year and been great on the road? I know both matter, but if you had to choose one, what, what, what part of that would be more important? I think it's probably the rest and setting up the rotation the way you want it. You know, some of these other clubs, um, you know, they're in a wild card right now and they don't have their number one, you know, they don't have their number one guy. And so that makes it a little bit different when you're in the wild card race. And now you got to play a game and you don't have your number one pitcher. And so at the end of the day, uh, I, I would say the rest and being able to reset your rotation. Dana Brown Astros GM joins us for his weekly visit here on the Sean Salisbury Show, Sports Talk 790. Dana, you had talked about our pitching's good enough, and if we get some timely hitting, we're going to be okay. Well, are you now with both pretty close to where you want to be? Two runs in 27 innings in Arizona. You, your pitching staff gave up, obviously posting the eight runs and the deciding one on Sunday. Are you feeling that there's a – a peak happening for both at this stage of the season, kind of like the Astros have liked it the last six, seven, eight years. Yeah, you know, in Arizona, we actually only gave up the one earned run. I know we gave up two runs, but it was one of them were uh, unearned. Right. Um, yeah, the pitching, these guys are locked in, man, and I've always felt like, you know, we've had the pitching, and, of course, we have the defense and, the, you know, the timely hitting. Uh, you know, we, we've been in we've been able to get enough timely hitting to win a division. You know, now it's like, okay, we get into this uh, postseason. And so if we can continue to get the pitching. I know the defense is there. Uh, we're going to need some quality at bats to get these clutch hits. And I, I think the quality at bats is what it's what's, it's what's going to get our guys over the hump. You know, you get in that batter's box, you can't chase early. You have to really grind at bats and you have to have some disciplined plate appearances and um i think if we can do that we'll be on the winning side danny you came from a winner you're on a winner you're leading a winner here in uh in houston with the astros and we've talked about your team and they have the stomach for this all year long different traits that they have and things they need to do and you've been extremely transparent so i'm curious after 162 games did is there something new you learned about your team that we don't discuss well, I, I can tell you this. These guys have the heartbeat for this, and they didn't panic all year, even when, you know, things weren't going well, even when we struggled in the middle of September. These guys really have the heartbeat for this, and I think it, it's a testament to being in the postseason a lot. And when you're in the postseason, you learn, you know, how to keep the heartbeat calm. You learn how not to panic. And these guys did they did a really good job of staying the course, not freaking out, not panicking, and they stayed locked in. This group of guys, they really stayed locked in, and we got some help all throughout the season uh, from some of our young guys, some of the veterans, and um, you know, it was a, a year of mixing and matching to you know to pull its thing out. 
Danny, you have, uh, as you said, reset the pitching staff, and you'll be able to be healthy and ready to roll for the most part uh, this week. So question is, would there be any reason not to run Fromber out there in game one, especially in a five-game series, that he's younger and may be able to recover quicker? Why wouldn't he be the first out? Yeah, the beauty of it is we have two starters that – we have two frontline first number one starters in Verlander and Bromber. Uh, we're going to have some discussion this week as to, you know, who we're going to roll out there. Um, you know, we're going to figure out who we're going to play first. And, and then we'll have some discussions about who we're going to run out there. But the beauty is we have two guys that we can run out there. Um, and that's the, uh, the good part. Dana Brown Astros GM joins us for his weekly visit. Dana, between Brantley and Jordan, both health, but health in particular about being able to play left field. Are they both DH ready? And are either one of them, is there a chance we'll play in left field during this series? Yeah, it's a dusty call, but I'm sure you're going to probably end up seeing both uh, play left field. We want to try to get our bats in the lineup, you know, whether it's uh, Brantley and left and Jordan DHing, um, you know, we're going to try to get both guys in, 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 the, in the game for sure. Um, you know, Dusty, you know, he'll go through things with his staff and he'll figure out, um, hey, this is how we're going to roll. But I'm sure that these guys are going to get uh, – Jordan for sure. I'm not sure how he's going to use uh, Brantley yet. Uh, but Jordan for sure will be in there um, – but we, we need to get these at-bats and get these quality at-bats and score some runs. And I think, you know, when you have those veteran guys in the lineup, that's a good sign. So Jordan's uh, health is, I mean, DH or left field, he can do either one. There is no limitation on him uh, throwing or playing in the uh, defense. Oh, yeah, not at all. I mean, he can, he can play left field for us without a problem. So Okay, um, good. Yeah, and that also yeah, that also if Maldonado's catching, depending on who's playing left field, can give you a possible right-handed bat in Diaz if he's not behind the play right. And I know how much you like his bat in the lineup. Yeah, that is correct. That is correct. So if you um, if you have Alvarez in left, you can you can hit you can hit Diaz at the DH, and so yep. that gets another power bat in the lineup, give you a chance to score some runs with a high OPS guy. So. Yeah, we we got some uh, mixing and matching. The team is really good. And, uh, you know, when you have guys that can start on most clubs on the bench, that means your team's pretty good. Yeah, you're not kidding. Dana Brown Astros GM for a couple more minutes for his weekly visit here on uh, on a Wednesday. Dana, do you care? I know we all say we don't. I mean, is there a matchup better? Do you care if it's Toronto or Minnesota? No, not at all. I mean, both clubs are pretty good. Um, Toronto, they both played us tough this year. I think the Twins beat us more than we beat them. Toronto beat us more than we beat them. So they both played us tough. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to lay down for you at this point in the season. Um, it doesn't matter who it is. I think our guys, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're fired up, man. These guys are pretty good. And, you know, since 2017, we're, you know, 11-0 at home. Uh, you know, in the uh, in the ALDS, and so these guys are really fired up, man. We're 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 pumped. You know, Dana, a hidden I don't know if I say gem or not, but a hidden gem in the number of the run production, driving in runs that Abreu started to put up late in the season. I mean, the decision just to stick it out with him and him to stay the course through all of it. Uh, his over your overall assessment of him as the season's gone on as your guy at first base. Yeah, good question. So, you know, one of the things we noticed that once we put Abreu on the IL and we addressed, you know, the lower back soreness that he had, um, he came back and he was, he's been really good. He had a dynamic uh, September. Um, and so once we felt like he got healthy and I think he was grinding through some things and, you know, um, it's just fighting through it and not telling us. And then, you know, we, we set him down and, and he talked about his lower back soreness. We put him on IL, um, you know, and he came back and he's since he's been driving and runs and he's kind of been the Abreu of old. And so I hope he continues what he did in September, roll that into October 
and, uh, you know, give us a chance to have some offensive production from him. Dana Brown, Astros GM, a couple more minutes here on Sports Talk 790. Dana, have you settled in on a third starter for this series? Uh, not yet. Uh, as I said, we're, uh, we're going to meet later this week, probably on um, either tomorrow or Friday morning to talk through some of this, you know, with our roster um, and how we're going to set that up. Um, we are in conversation every day and having talks about it, but we'll set the roster probably sometime on Friday or Saturday morning. I think we have it until Saturday morning at 10 or something. But, um, you know, the third starter, we're probably working through that as well. Um, but you can bet that, um, you know, whoever it is, we, we're going to have a great opportunity to win that game. So, Absolutely. So I'll end with this, Dana. Experience, you've seen it being in baseball your whole life. But there's also that young enthusiasm that sometimes being naive to the postseason pressure can be a good thing. But so I'm, I'm asking you, where do you rate in importance – postseason chops, meaning players, I think Altuve and Bregman, between the two of them, have played like 170 playoff games, Dane. I mean, like 90 and 80 or 80 and 85. and 80. I mean, to the point where it's like a half a damn season and between the two of them, full season. So is it overrated or properly rated when we're talking about postseason experience? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's definitely not overrated. Postseason experience is, is it's a real thing, and I don't think there's much of a substitute for it. Uh, when you've been in these high pressure games, it's just you learn how to calm calm yourself down and not get too jittery. Uh, sometimes with a young player, a young player can get a little jittery and overly excited and try to do too much or try to prove himself whereas the veteran guy knows what he's capable of doing, stays within himself. And so, um, you know, I, I think there's no substitute for that postseason experience. You do have these young guys, though, that come along, and they're just warriors. You know, they're, they're, they're warriors from, from day one. You know, you put them in the postseason, they feed off that stuff. They're super athletic. They're really good players. And so that can happen as well. But oftentimes you have these young guys who get in there and they try to do too much. So, but I'll, I'll take the experience. I mean, the experience is so important. And uh, you know, these when you when you're rolling out veterans every day, you feel pretty comfortable. Yeah, damn right. And we're excited for this weekend and whoever the opponent is. And first goal down, win the division. And here you are. And uh, we are pumped up about it. And again, congratulations! Your first year here as a GM and a division title. And we'll look forward to the weekend and. Hopefully rolling along really, really well by the time we talk to you next Wednesday. And thank you so much. And, again, congratulations on the division championship. Absolutely appreciate it. I'm looking forward to seeing Minute Maid rocking this weekend. Guaranteed. Dana, thank you. Appreciate it. It will be rocking. And all that, oh, we're not very good at home stuff goes out the window because there's a different intensity in the postseason. Come back and discuss.